and we just rake the products in oh my gosh look at the curls with just gel all right my favorite part shake 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 and wait we're not done yet shake 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 Hey everybody, so welcome back to my channel. Um, as you see in the title of the video, I'll be doing a wash and go today. Right, so let's get straight into it. Um, so, I have been deep conditioning my hair and it's actually been an overnight deep conditioning. So at first it started off as something where you know, you should deep condition overnight and a whole thing came up and you're like, oh no, you're not supposed to do that, blah, blah, blah. But I've done it I've done, about, I've done it a few times and I don't do it often often but it has benefits and because my hair is high porosity as well yeah I don't care what these people are saying so this is a deep conditioner this is the conditioner I have in my hair the oh the glare it's the silicone mix right um Moroccan argan oil um hair treatments right oh focus camera yeah okay I'm gonna be working with Essentially five sections, but to rinse out the deep conditioner, I'm just gonna pull out all of these. Alright. So in a way I'm following this. I don't know if you guys know about this guy named Anthony Dickey, I believe that's his name. Um, and he's very popular in the um the wash and go community, so to speak. Yeah, he's very popular. So essentially he's just like water and conditioner are your best friends when doing wash and go, which you know you know and everything, which I'm pretty sure everyone knows that. So, I like to deep condition my hair before I wash and go. I don't do it all the time, but I like to deep condition my hair before I wash and go because do you see the curls popping already? So, let's rinse this out and continue with the rest of the routine. So, this is my hair after, after rinsing out the deep conditioner, right? And uh, Anthony Dickey, he doesn't like how. Um, he doesn't recommend that using shampoo. Like his method is to just strictly co-wash. But guys, <laughs> it's been a while, so my scalp needs some cleaning. So I'm going to go in with the Cream of Nature um, Acai Berry um, shampoo, right? So I'll be. I need. I need some shampoo to my scalp, and that's another reason why I deep conditioned as well because I knew I was going to use shampoo. Oh, I want to show you guys. Ah, I want to show you guys how it looks. So it's like purple. Yeah. So this time around, I actually tried to focus on my roots because that's what I needed cleaning, and I didn't want it to like dry out the length of my hair, so to speak. Even though I already used the deep conditioning. Um, treatment I still wanted to mostly focus on the roots of my hair and guys shampoo got in my eye oh my gosh I'm a mess let me just wash this out <laughs> So I sectioned my hair back into the five parts that I had it in originally. So I'm going to go in with the Cream of Nature Coconut Milk Conditioner as well as the Cantu Avocado Line Conditioner. So yeah, I'm going to use both of them in my hair. They're both very thick conditioners and I just like the way the both of them um, feel in my hair. Like I experimented one day just using both of them. I just liked how it feel and I liked how my hair smell afterwards so I was just like yes this shall be my routine so I go through each section carefully um, distributing the conditioner properly as well as raking um, my curls a bit right just to get the curl pattern going so I won't have too much work to do when I start to put in the gel rake rake you gotta rake that product rake rake and i also use my comb and you know just to get any possible detangles wait detangle oh any possible tangles that <laughs> may be in my hair oh 
and we see the curls coming out. Woo! Ciao! Okay, so right here we done worked in the conditioner. So we just go and rinse that out. And I am carefully rinsing out the conditioner out of my hair. So I'm gonna into it, right? Okay, so that's my hair after um, rinsing out the conditioner. So to style now, we're gonna be using the um what's this called the s curl texturizing gel or styling gel as well as the eco styler clear gel right i've tried both of these products before and i just liked how they defined my curls and just kept it so yeah so i just take a little bit of each product and then i mix it in the palm of my hand so mix 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 wait we don't reach the mix mix part oh yes yes mix 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 it up yeah and that's how it looks i believe the s curl gel is has a slight blue color so that's why it looks like that so by right i was supposed to use a leave-in conditioner if i was supposed to go with the anthony Dick dickie method however I did not want any flaking. I've realized over time that using any deep conditioner with gel in my hair, it, it just flakes, right? So I was just going to use gel alone because my hair was moisturized anyways from the deep conditioning and the rinse out conditioner. So yes, um, however, if you don't experience flaking with a leave-in and gel, then go for it. So I just segment my hair into different parts and just raking through um i didn't necessarily use like small parts because i had no time for that but the curls were coming through so yeah and this is how everything looked after i ran the gel through all of my hair right no time for the best part shake 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 so this is a part of the Anthony Dickey method where he says just shake the curls so you do a sideways movement as well as a back and forth movement and at first I was just like what is this this is crazy but I actually felt a bit of a difference in my hair I, I don't know man but I felt a bit of difference And here we have the final look. My hair is completely dry right here. And I love the turnout. My hair felt moisturized. Like my hair didn't feel crunchy at all. Right? There are no flakes, guys. There are no residue. Oh my gosh. There's no residue. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like I'm so so happy like i love wash and goes i don't really like the shrinkage but you know that's the cost for having your hair in a curly state um i know there's like stretching methods and stuff but yeah i'm happy with the results Yo, if you guys ever know that I was recording myself doing this for like five minutes and I had to like cut it down, like something is wrong with me. <laughs> so this is day five with the wash and go hair. Um, it's not bad, and I didn't even do anything to it. I'm considering I only use gel. Yeah, it doesn't even like. It doesn't even feel dry, like, yeah. So, I'm guessing these are my go to gel. That S curl gel, though, is really expensive, <laughs> and I don't think my mom wants me using it again. <laughs> but, yeah, it wasn't bad. So, this was my wash and go. It wasn't a bad week with it at all. It wasn't a bad week. I could possibly go another week if i was supposed to like i mean nothing is wrong with wearing it out but i'd probably be like 
yeah some like high high ponytails with probably like a bang or something yeah it's really not bad it's not bad at all but let me show you guys the back I'm not mad. I feel like you guys, and when you guys do your wash and go again, you guys should do this. Do, do that movement. I, I don't know what it did, but it did something. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, that that is it. So yeah, that is it. So, um, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and if you haven't already, please to subscribe. Thank you.